Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, Nukem Dukem here, and welcome to Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on the PlayStation 4, 60 frames per second. So, I am gonna sit here all in one sitting and play through the whole campaign for you guys. So just to, you know, I appreciate some love back since I'm like doing this for you guys. If you guys could do me a favor, just hit that like button and just share the stream. Just take the link above and just put it on your Facebook and Twitter or any other social media platforms and below the video player has a share button and you click share on that that helps me so much that's the least you guys can do to kind of you know a little little uh give them back to both of us anyways uh anyways i want to give away some free copies of this game by um to you guys it's pretty it's free to enter all you have to do is just follow me on twitter and twitch and facebook and if you retweet any of my call of duty retweets you're entered into the giveaway and that's how i know uh, who's gonna get a copy? So, that's just a little heads up here. So let's go ahead and go menu. You have your identity here, your challenges, your barracks, your media, and then your option. Go ahead and show you the controller. Oh, did they not show you the controller layout? Oh well. Okay, and then here is audio. Subtitles on for you guys. Graphics. So they have a graphic content. Uh, when you first start out the game, uh, they said there's some gonna be there's gonna be some really strong violence that may be disturbing for some people. So you can actually disable that if you don't want that disturbing content there. So I'm just gonna keep it enabled so you guys see the full game. Just a warning: this is it's gonna be full rated M. So let's go ahead and go through the campaign. Okay, before you begin campaign, please I take a moment to customize your auto. Operative, so you can choose a female protagonist or male. Uh, I already took a, the female, and uh, there was not any avatar that I, I want to play as, so I'm gonna go for the male look. Even though most people are gonna play male, uh, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I just didn't find anything that I wanted to play as, so I'm probably gonna pick this guy. Or what's the difference between this one and this one? Looks exactly the same. Oh, that okay. This one has a full beard. We have to go to full beard. Okay, we're just going regular since I am playing this in all one sitting, and it's 9 p.m. at night, and I'll probably finish around like 2 a.m. So, change gender, change face, change difficulty. Okay, let's go ahead and confirm this. So you can do a four-player co-op in this game right here. You can join a public game, uh, select a specific mission, but. Uh, all the other YouTubers and I are busy working on the game content. We don't have time to do co-op, so I'm just going to do this solo playthrough. I won't talk during cutscene and dialogue, so enjoy the story, guys. Human bio-augmentation has become commonplace throughout the developed world. The sheer scale of this disaster has overwhelmed the authorities. Superstorms continue to hammer the region, hampering relief efforts. These are uncertain times. Our future depends upon the choices we make. As populations continue to expand, megacities emerge worldwide. The extreme conditions have led to a vast exodus of displaced residents. WA bases were on high alert this morning. Direct energy air defenses neutralized the attack almost immediately. Protesters and local forces clashed again today, resulting in yet more bloodshed. Make no mistake. This is a new Cold War. We may not always see our enemies, but they are out there. My name is Jacob Hendricks. I'm your new CO. This is Egyptian Minister Saeed, taken hostage by NRC forces two days ago. After the uprisings in Cairo, they may want to make an example of him, punish him. We're not going to let that happen. Just so we're clear, if this goes wrong, you never existed. The NRC are gonna be here soon. We got about one minute to create the mother of all distractions. Copy that. Diverting traffic to runway 11. Cargo 4019er, we have a fuel fire on runway 19. 
Convert course for landing to runway 11. Please confirm. All right, you're up. Okay, hacking module in place. Recalibrating death system target. We got company. Dead, manual override. Please select target. Input confirmed. Targeting parameters accepted. All is good down here. Possible malfunction at your end? Fire now! Firing! Dead system engaging target. Firing. Open the door! Shit! Get out! Let's get this done! Oh, here we go, baby. Are these bad guys? Yep. Taylor, the version is in play. Bird is down. Confirmed. Sentries are leaving their post to respond to the crash. Proceed to the package. Make the grab before it breaks. Or gets broken. We're on it. See you at the RP. Roger that. Now, I'm not going to do a full collectibles run on this, but uh, I, I will explore a little bit. Maybe well, I find some along the, the way. Crash. These uniforms should allow us to slip by. So long as we don't have to talk to them. Okay. Security stations across the way in the tunnels. Once there, we'll be able to pinpoint the minister's exact location. Heads and weapons down. Keep it cool until we make the grab. All right, so we got our first collectible right here. Active this uh, communication right here. Okay, I didn't think it would be that visible. Goodness. Usually collectibles, they don't like show it in your face. So you have to kind of find it. Just keep your head down. On me, nice and easy. <laughs> kind of wonder what's the disturbing content gonna be that they had to put a disclaimer and had the option to disable it. Because I remember in Modern Warfare, I think 2 is where you can shoot people in the airport, you shoot civilians at the airport, and they gave you an option to skip that. Take your time, mate. Taylor, we're at the security station. Moving to secure. I hear you, Hendricks. Let's do this. Right. Ready when you are. They're just gonna call me player. I'll kill the alarms on this floor. Get plugged in and locate the minister. Okay. Taylor, scanning for package. Waiting for hit on facial recognition. Other hostages. I thought it was only the minister. Yeah, so did I. Poor sons of bitches. The NRC are known for their brutality. Taylor. Did you know there were other prisoners? The minister is the only priority. Understood. Check the next feed. Okay, this might be what they're talking about. They came out the extreme brutality, like waterboarding right here. I know a lot of people are up in arms about that. Are we just gonna leave him to be tortured? We have our orders. No match. That's him, the minister.
He's being moved. We have to find out where they're taking him. Bingo. Match confirmed. Moving to secure. ETA? Two minutes. Two minutes. I'll be timing you. Son of a bitch was never funny. You sound like the voice of experience. Trust me. I am. Okay. Maybe I should up the difficulty a little bit. Oh boy. Oh, I'm on fire. <clears throat> oh, I thought that was um, a red barrel. I guess not. Oh, it is. Oof, almost shot my teammate. You all look the same. <laughs> Cell block ahead. On me. Right. What if I don't want to go on you? What if I want to see what's over here? I'll take point. You breach observation. Okay. Let's go ahead and breach it. Come on. That exfil won't wait. I'm waiting on you. You have made it, Darbo. We only did what we have to do. Interrogator has his back to the door. Oh. Two sentries inside. The guard's down. You are coward. On my mark. Three, two, go! We're here to extract you. Do as I say and you'll make it through this. What about Lieutenant Khalil and the others? Sorry, no time. Khalil was a hero of the Cairo uprising. You know that makes him a valuable asset for their propaganda. They will make an example of him. Fuck! All right, let's go! Okay. Here, this one. Get the door, I'll cover. All right, breach in. I'll cut the poor bastard down. Oh, he's fine. Mr. Khalil. Ish. Uh, Hendrix, can you fight Khalil? Always. We'll grab a weapon from the locker room up ahead and reprogram it to match your biometrics. Okay. Sounds like they're finally on to us. Let's move! Taylor, package plus one, secure and inbound. Plus one. Your orders were to extract the minister. His name is Lieutenant Khalil. Sound familiar? Get moving. We'll see you topside. Depot ahead will be heavily guarded. Get ready to go loud. Alright, going loud. Grenade out! Oh, it's more of a flashbang. Here's the grenade. Got me. I feel like this. Oh my gosh. That's our exit. Cargo elevator up ahead. Dude, I put a oh, like 10 clips in you. Or 10 bullets, but not cl 10 clips.
shoot in the elevator. It'll take us up to the hangar. Oh. Teammate, <laughs> just shoot everybody that you come across. That's the rule, right? I'm, I'm in, dude. Come on, Hendrix. We're almost out of here. Why, why don't you just talk to me? Why, why do you have to radio that to me? <laughs> Drop your weapon. No them now. We're dead if we do. Trust me, we're dead if we don't. Drop them! Keep going! Late. Your imaginary watch is fast. Nice to see you, Jacob. You too, John. You look... You look different. Still seeing Rachel? That didn't work out. That's a pity. Mm -hmm. yeah. New blood? Gonna take care of him as good as you did me? That's not funny, man. We still set on our Xville? Charges are set. All right, good to go. Xville in 10. Diaz, you're on babysitting duty. Let's roll. Stay close. Yeah, I love the active camo. Oh, hang on, I gotta refill some ammo. Use a lot of my grenades. Move it to the next hangar. Hang on, let's see if I can update. Yeah. Pardon. Hey, On my position, let's take the high road. All right, let's go on this position. Are those actually enemies? Oh, he's using the gadgets. Okay. Let's see if I have any. Nope. Guys, get to Axville. I got these guys. Go, dude. They Our got like a no good against that APC. Jeez, we gotta bring down that VTOL. Aim for the missiles. They ain't doing shit to that APC. Focus your fire on the VTOL. I am, dude. APC is down. Get lit up here. Copy that. Hendricks, get him with Hall on the other side of the hangar. I'm ready to low on ammo. Oh, good, there's an ammo supply crate over here. I assume there's something up here. Sorry, just resupply. Like, if I was a collect person trying to put a collectible, I'd put something up here. Or maybe there is one up there, I'm not looking too close enough. Who else? Try and keep up, alright? Let's go to work. That technical's mine. Give me some 
cover fire. Got you. Go ahead. Get to the bridge. I'll keep Just stay back a little bit. Ready's got you from here. Expos across the bridge up ahead. They'll still be right on our ass. We've set charges all across the base to cover our expo. We detonate as soon as we're across the bridge. No one follows us. It's about to go on. I don't think those trucks comes unless I push up a little bit. Those AFBs are blocking our route. Let's go. I think we have to do the objectives unless if we don't do the objectives. I don't think it will we'll continue. Blown. Primary expo is compromised. Moving on to secondary. Copy that. Rendezvous at Hotel Tango. We'll use the APC. Roger that. Accessing buildings electrical systems. Yeah, see, I was supposed to hang back because I was too aggressive. We weren't supposed Heads to cross up. that. We have multiple hostiles inside the comms room. Killing lights. What? You expect us to fight in the dark? Something like that. Sending tactical feet to your HUD. Remember, they ain't got the night vision. Okay, are we shooting now? Take it slow. Pick them off. Give us your advantage. Oh, I think I'm always doing that as a teammate. Is that right? Now what? Beetle's got us pinned down. Easy, hold your fire, he's mine. Nice. Taylor, Alpha 2 team has rejoined for Xville. Comes easy now, doesn't it, Taylor? Extract is the satellite tower. Commandeer vehicle and get you to extraction. Uh. Keep up. Secondary routes just ahead. Oh. Are sure, we're supposed to jump over this. You guys hear that? You hearing things already? That itchy finger of yours is infecting your ears. Hey. Fuck you. Shut up. I hear it too. Listen. Holy shit. Contact! Contact! Zombies? NRC see assault robots moving in. A shitload of them. We need that door open now. Give us some cover fire. Get inside. Go, go, go. Give us the extract. We'll deal with the robots. Whew. Oh, do I get to ride one of these? Please tell me. Taylor, we're in the clear. We can take it from here. Those other hostages we saw, you can get them out. Not a mission priority. It may not be a mission priority, but there's still people, damn it! Or have you changed so much that you've forgotten what that feels like? All right, change of plan. Hendrix. Your team will escort the minister to the extract. We'll go back and get the hostages. More robots. Uh, don't worry about them. We were built to handle them. Go on, get out of here. Go! Okay. I think I'm gonna go on this one since everyone's on this I one. got the wheel. Get on the turret. Okay. Right. Here we go. We're going on the turret, baby. <laughs> Position. 
Oh! You're kidding! I wonder if there's a... Yeah, there is a heat on the gun. Okay. Okay, this is just a defense point. Hendrix, stop the damn thing! What the hell do you think I'm doing? Come on, start you fucker! Hold them back! Oh my gosh, there's so many! Oh my gosh, there's so many! Pull down, pull down! Defend! Why can't- why aren't you guys letting me in? Hold them back! We're hitting the minister in the position! Concentrating fire on multiple targets. Let's wrap this up. Keep them back! We're almost out of here! Dude, he looks secure to me, man! Wow, that was that was quite brutal. <laughs> so we got mission complete. Got new outfits here. Okay. Looks like we only got one of five collectibles, but we're level three now. Accolades. Okay. Kind of little stuff for you to work on, I guess. Where am I? It's okay. Calm down. Just relax. You're gonna be fine. You're smarter than 
achieved our objectives. Man's always going to be better than machine. Unfortunately, you sustain life-threatening injuries. You're stable, but you got a long way to go. Who are you? It's me, Taylor. I think it's time you woke up, don't you? Zurich. Hey, still with us? Welcome back. Taylor. Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. <laughs> At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This isn't real. It can't be. What is happening to me? Right now? Right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one, too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you got a long way to go. AM, December 11th, 2054. Zurich security forces are receiving an anonymous tip, giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down, and they took it hard. Outcome? Train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. I'm gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor, you're a fucking dick. You didn't hear shit? If I wanna talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, brother, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right, let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards.
gonna toss this back. You're welcome. That's our teammate over there. Yep. Your DNI can provide combat critical info to help you better read the battlefield. Switch it to tactical mode, like opening your eyes for the first time, right? Grenade! Jeez. You're welcome. Present. Okay, it looks clear. All right. Use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hundred says you can do it. Go. Back mode will highlight inbound threats such as rockets and grenades. You see flashing red. Move. Well, there was those explosive barrels there. news Keep moving up. Man, this guy has like infinite ammo. How are you still alive? Above there. Check your ammo. Grab more if you need it. Yeah, I think, oh, I think I'm alright. Let's get the one right above me. I think we're okay. D and I doesn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. Now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier, brother. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, pow, your brain is toast. But these, these fuckers are easy. Go ahead, back in. Go see what's on the other side of this wall. like a 
glove, right? Now somewhere through there is a generator. Take it out and then push it over. Okay. Ooh, it's interesting. Okay. You have to use the R1L1 triggers. It's gonna take a little getting used to. to friend talk about drone op edge Got them all, or most of them. Yeah, I'm exiting. Oh, wow! Ha! Huh. Raising lower guns? like Italian. Oh, I saw one up there. This is this is wickedly weird. <laughs> kind of slow though. Like more of them can't, it's coming out. Hello? Some sneaky people, I guess. Is. Blow that generator so we can get inside. Blown. I'm afraid the EMP blast from the generator was probably your drop. Come on, let's go. Okay. Last thing you want is to be in a fight with no bullets. Right. Suppressors, second level. If you want to get creative, you can use hijack on those tourists. Nice going. Let's turn it back on them. Tear them up. Hey guys. You guys just sitting there while I'm shooting at you guys? Well, there goes your reinforcements. And that's it. 
Uh, Friday after I'm done using it. The faction's hideout is just ahead. Once inside, interface with the central console. Pull any data you can. Oh boy. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just take a second. Take a deep breath in and tell me what happened. I was back in Ethiopia. The grunts, I, I lived it all again. What's happening to me? Shit. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. The DNI can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. The shit happens. The doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. So what now? Oh, right now? You're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Got it. They had a man on the inside at Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. The botched assault, man, it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? Train go boom. It took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. If you hadn't freaked out when you saw those robots. So what happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch. Tipped off by his terrorist pals. The mole was ready for him. He had heavy duty combat grunts with him. Once again, the Zerk security force got their asses handed to him. Outcome train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember Specialist Sarah Hall? She's gonna walk you through the next part. Trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Before DNI, you had to read books. In the Academy, Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning. Appreciating. And that takes time. Time is something we don't always have. Okay, New Blood. From this point on, the simulation deviates from actual events. Not that it's gonna feel any less real. Use your imagination. Sending his location to your HUD. Come on now. Take up the trail. I still have line of sight. Our boys hacking the CSF talents. What does that tell you? Check your fire. You're Civilians are not targets. Not sitting behind a computer. You can only be controlling them if he's got a DNI too. What does that tell you? He's running scared, not sitting behind a computer. He could only be controlling them if he's got a DNI too. You're a smart one, New Blood. I'll give you that. Son of a bitch is still moving. Thank goodness. Get over the maglev train. What do? He's heading into old Zurich. Move. All right. Activating a new cyber ability. System paralysis. There he is. Ah. 
Ow. Take them down. Nice going, new blood. Nice going. Your cyber abilities don't come for free. They take a little time to recharge. Keep an eye on your HUD. Don't lose them now, newbie. Going. Now's your chance. Take him down. Didn't work out so well, huh? I reckon our suspect has about 15 seconds left before he shakes hands with the Grim Reaper. You can't let that happen. Not before you get the information we need. I don't think he's in any condition to talk. He doesn't have to. He has a DNI. Buried beneath layers of security protocols, the subject's DNI records cam footage of the user's past experiences. In extreme circumstances, it is possible to extract that information by force. You'll be able to push deep into the subject's memories, their thoughts, even their subconscious. You could learn everything we need to know about the terrorist plans. I'm sensing a butt coming up somewhere. You should know. Not only will this procedure be deeply traumatic for the subject, but the associated subconscious interference will leave him brain dead. Dead. Believe me, this is a bad way to go. He's a dead man anyway. Besides, he's a fucking terrorist. A few minutes ago, you knew nothing. What do you know now? I know where they are. They're using the old train tunnel to plan their attack. Hmm. But you just learned that your DNI took the ZSF weeks to uncover. What do you think I'm gonna say next? Outcome. Train go boom. It's good to know you can make tough decisions when you have to. I think it's time we moved on. ZSF finally tracked down the terrorists to this location. For their sake, they really wish they had. You're still here, huh? Pity. I bet Diaz 100 that you'd be dead by now. Funny man, Specialist Peter Moretti. He's gonna help you understand how much of a badass motherfucker you are now. But remember, we still don't have the last piece of the puzzle. How in the hell they got the explosives on board the train? So we're clear? When this is over? You owe me a hundred. Back to business. As you know, one of the perks of being Black Ops is having access to the latest in experimental weaponry. Firearms may be your go-to choice for a weapon in a fight. But with DNI, your mind truly is your greatest weapon. Let's do some damage. <laughs> 